What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm breaking down a deep dive into the Spirit Hall, which is the Spirit Borns class mechanic or class ability. Okay, we're gonna talk about all of this, get into the deep dive, how you can intertwine these, mix and match, and how powerful you can create this character in, C in Vessel of the Hatred in the expansion, guys. So first things first, what is the Spirit Hall? The Spirit Hall is your class powers that you get after you unlock your class quest at level 15. So once you do your class quest, just like you do with your other classes, at level 15, you're gonna unlock the Spirit Hall, okay? You gain access to four of your spirit uh, spirits. I almost said spirit boons, I'm not the druid. So you gain access to four of your spirits. Now you're gonna be able to mix and match these. So once you select your spirits, you're gonna have a main spirit and a uh, secondary spirit okay you can see these powers that you have here so casting a gorilla skill deals 100 percent thorns to enemies you hit and grants a barrier for 10 percent uh, of max life up to 40 percent for three seconds and then all skills you cast even other spirits are also now gorilla skills which is very important uh, in your sub one, we got Eagle here. For every four meters I move, my crit strike chance is increased by 4%. This bonus resets two seconds after you do a critical strike, which is fantastic. So you can see that mixing and matching these is going to be very, very good and brings a lot of build diversity to um, the class itself. Now, what I do wanna do is go find the little area that I had because you're gonna be able to select four of these. And the reason that you're going to be able to select four of these is because we're going to go break down each one and what they do, right? So in the testing, we got to play with four different pre-made builds and they mix and match the spirit borns or the spirits to kind of help each other. So with the Jaguar as a really good example, Jaguar is your main spirit born because it's an aggressive fighting style that relies on flashy multi-hit attacks. And then it was paired with the Eagle a highly agile master of mobility. They are precise strikers who you who are evasive and control the element of lightning. So the spirit boon or spirit born, excuse me, of Eagle gives you a lot of critical strike or critical strike chance, I should say, not critical strike, critical strike chance. And the Jaguar is a very fast and has a high attack speed spirit. It all evolves around attack speed. So pairing these two spirits together is very good because now we're gonna be able to attack fast, move fast, and we're gonna deal a lot of critical strikes, which is very, very cool. So it's a very like DPS type build. Next, I played the Gorilla. The Gorilla is paired with the, the Centipede. The Gorilla is a very defensive fighter. It is the tank of all four of the spirits. It is very, very resilient. So it deals a lot with thorn damage, which is gonna be very, very good in the end game. And we paired it with the Centipede because this focuses on poison and debuffs to the enemy. And then the life trade, right? So you deal damage and you drain their life and it heals you in return. So this combination makes being a Gorilla Spirit or Gorilla Spirit Born probably the tankiest class we've ever seen in Diablo, even more so than the Barbarian, which is gonna be a feat if we get this to the end game and we can really test it, it's gonna be nuts. So having that paired is pretty dang good. Next, the Centipede paired with the Jaguar or the Eagle, very, very good. You're critting and dealing a crap ton of poison. The Jaguar is very, very good with the Centipede because you're gonna be able to do a lot of fast attacks and dealing the poison damage with the trade-off is very, very good combination. You basically stay alive while being able to be a DPS like Glass Cannon with the lifesteal. It's kind of similar to um, Andy's Flurry or Andy's Poison with the Rogue right now where you have that lifesteal and you just can't die even though you're kind of a, you know, a DPS and not so much a tank. So the Centipede by far was the best spirit born or spirit out of all four of these. It wasn't even close. Next, you got the Eagle, again, paired with the Jaguar or the Centipede is really, really good. The Eagle is just amazing. I wanna show you guys some footage of this in another video, but the Eagle was my favorite by far. So not only do you get high mobility, so you're all over the place, you don't die, you have a high attack speed, and pairing this with Jaguar or Spirit, or excuse me, the Centipede, just makes the, the build very, very good. The Eagle is probably the best AOE 
spirit out of all of them. The centipede is very, very good because of the poison. You can apply the poison and just move on. But eagle was very, very good when it came to that. So when you're in here playing and you're just dealing all of this damage, like mixing matching these spirits is very, very cool. And you can just see like how like, what's the word? How, how much like adaptability and versatility you guys have when it comes to building all of these different variants of the class. And I think once the Vessel of Hatred actually releases and we're able just to test so many different things, as you can see here, this is the Eagle paired with the Jaguar. And it's just, you just fly right through this dungeon. Like it's just, I know we're level 30, but we just fly through and we just deal just so much damage. It's insane. So um, the, the Spirit Hall, is very very unique it's a it's a lot different than using the spirit boons as opposed to like having the spirit boons you're going to select like eagle or you're going to select like the wolf and then you have all of these different um you know you got the four different boons and then you kind of pick and choose which one you want out of the four this i like it much more because it's just you pick the spirit and you get this you don't have any more options between that which I think is very unique and very cool. Um, I don't know if this is gonna really take over Druid mains, but I think this is gonna be a high competition for that because this class was really, really fun to play. So yeah, guys, this is the Spear Hall. I wanted to do a little bit more in-depth breakdown. You can mix and match these, swap these at any time as you're going through a dungeon or whatever, minus like the pit or something where you're locked in and you can't change anything. But when you're going through just fighting, you can swap this stuff on the go. You can mix and match no matter what. There is some that pair better with others, but, you know, in the examples that I gave you. But we're going to be able to find so many unique just kind of forms and combinations, which is the entire point of the Spearborn is being the most adaptable build or, excuse me, class in the game, which is going to be really, really fun. Um, mixing and matching these, we're going to have some really good builds because this is one thing that... Diablo has, in my opinion, been a little tough on. We haven't had the biggest build diversity. And I think having stuff like this in all of the classes really mixes up for us. So when you think about things like the Barbarian and you have the that entire weapon mastery, you're never using anything besides just the two-handed axe. You're never picking anything else because that's just the best one. So we may end up finding what is the best ones here but i think the combination and swapping spirits out is just going to be so cool and unique that we're going to have so many different builds and you're going to be able to play whatever kind of uh spirit born you want to play also a huge note here when you are picking your main and secondary spirits they do not have to be different so you can pick gorilla as your main and also gorilla as your secondary spirit so if you want to go all in on one spirit, you can definitely do that. And you can just double up your bonuses. Um, I did not, I could not find the clip where I had it, where I selected both. So you could see the differences here as far as the powers, but you can pick both of the same spirit on your main and secondary spirit slots. So that way you can pick, you know, if you want to be an all out gorilla, if you want to be an all out eagle or an all out centipede and deal crazy poison damage, you know, or a fast Jaguar just lunging at enemies. That is totally up to you. And I think that's very unique. When I first heard that and we were able to do it, I was like, oh, that's really cool because that's kind of different than like the Druid where, you know, you have to be swapping between things. And if I want to be just like a grizzly bear, I can't necessarily do that now with Druid because you just lose so much damage. So I think having this where you could pick both the same one and really hone in on it is going to be very very cool so you have the the option to be you know have the diversity of picking multiple spirits or you can just hone in i think that's great so yeah guys this is the spear hall i kind of wanted to break this down to you guys make sure to like the video comment down below let me know what you guys think about the spear hall and the spirits if you guys have any additional questions please let me know down in the comments don't forget to subscribe guys and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace